Hi everyone. So I'm going to take you guys through making some satin um, or wheat gluten flour as some people would call it. I'm just going to show you how, how I make it at the minute. Right now I'm pretty much eating it for four or five of my meals every single day. Um, I've chosen to try and keep my soya produce quite low. Um, just for different factors, I'll talk about them a little bit later in the video, but right now I'm just going to go through how I make it um, and what I normally season it with and things. You can use like soy sauce, teriyaki sauce and things like that, but I'm trying to keep my sodium quite low too because of prep, so I'm mostly using natural spices. Okay, so this is the wheat gluten that I use. You can also get this in the organic bags which I'm going to actually start buying. They're a little bit more expensive but not too bad. You can just order this on Amazon and this is the macros on the back. So per 100 grams that's dry weight not cooked. It's 408 calories, um, 6.5 grams of fat, 7.7 .7 grams of carbs and 80 grams of protein. Unreal. Um, so I've just weighed out. I've just weighed out 250 grams of this into a mixing bowl, and I'm going to be adding 10 grams of this, which is the reduced salt. Um, it's just like an organic Swiss vegetable kind of seasoning, and again, that's super low calories and quite low sodium as well. So 10 grams, um, and then I'm going to be adding paprika turmeric, loving turmeric at the minute, and ground cumin. I generally add like a teaspoon of each. And um, Once I've added those, give it a good mix, and then I add a sachet of this easy bake yeast and some boiling water, and then mix it all up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I've mixed it all together. So it turns out something like this, after you've kind of left it for about five, 10 minutes to rise, and then you need to knead it, for about five or ten minutes it's a little bit make like making a loaf of bread so i'm going to knead it for a few minutes and then i'm going to leave it to cool a little bit more and then i'm going to boil it for maybe about five ten minutes and then let it just simmer for 40. okay so this is what it looks like when it's just been boiled and then um drained so i'm going to cut it up now and pop it in my frying pan which I've spritzed with some local fry light coconut oil spray and I'm going to fry it for about mm, 10 to 12 minutes and this is pretty much what I've got um, like I said guys my diet is pretty boring at the minute so when I am not this close to the show I'll try and do a few more recipes with this that are a little bit more interesting <laughs> 